Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video we're going to be talking a little bit about the geometry that you use in 3D modeling. So let's take a look. Uh, this is a Camaro, 2010 Camaro that I tried to model a long time ago. Another one that when I was first learning Blender I was following a tutorial on it. So I'm just going to use it as an example. Let me uh, move this over a little bit so we can see. Um, let's look at the uh, geometry that makes up a model. So if we look at some of this geometry, you see we have three basic building blocks of the geometry and that is the vertex and the edge here and if you select all four of these vertices here that's a face and you can see those also down here so I, right now I'm in vertex mode so that's what it's selecting and if I go into edge mode and you see it's selecting only the edges and face mode you can select the different faces now why is that important well this is the very building blocks of modeling and when I first started modeling you know, as you go along, you learn to understand what really a vertex is and what the edges are and what the faces are. But I think it's very important that when you, you know, as you first start out, that you already know what these are. So I think it just helps you as you go along. So now that we know a little bit about, you know, what makes up these shapes, Let's also look at what types of shapes you have. Well, this here is four-sided, so it's called a quad, which makes sense, it has four sides. You also have things called tries, which are right here, which makes sense because they're triangles. Now, in the 3D modeling wor world, uh, quads are preferred when you model, and tries are pretty much frowned upon. Um, Usually you can't avoid having some, but you want to try to avoid it as much as possible. So what is the reason for that? Uh, why you want mostly the quads, the four-sided faces? Well, the reason comes when you try to divide all these um, faces in order to make your model smoother. Um, and why would you do that? Well, think of a picture that you look at that's pixelated. Uh, the picture, of course, looks better the more pixels that you have. So if we divide all these faces more and more, then the model is going to get smoother. And we can kind of demonstrate that. Um, let me apply a modifier here. Add modifier, subdivision surface. And I'm just going to bump it up three times here. So you can see... Well, you can't see that yet, but you can see here that the surface has gotten quite a bit smoother. Now, due to my bad modeling back then, of course, it's not smoothing correctly. But if I apply this modifier and then go into edit mode, you can see all the subdivisions that I've done there. And there's quite a lot, really way too many. But you can see what it's doing here, or hopefully you can see that it's actually smoothing the surface where this is looking much more rounded off and everything. So that's, that's where you get those nice rounded corners when you're making models. Again, my model pretty much sucks, so it doesn't look that great. But you can also see, hopefully here, where those tries are, where it's creating a problem. The reason is, if we go back, I'm going to just uh, undo a little bit here and get rid of that uh, modifier. The reason is when you subdivide and split faces, four-sided faces, it can do that evenly. It's a four-sided object, so if you split it once, then now you have, you know, the two halves of that. Um, but if you try to split a tri, a triangle object, you can't do it really evenly. It comes out uneven. And that is the reason why it's mostly frowned upon. It's because when you go about doing things like subdividing 
and do an animate. Well, actually, animation is kind of a different story. But anyway, that is the basic reason. Um, if you're really interested in why tries are considered bad for the most part, uh, there's plenty of information on the internet about that. But there is another type of ob object that you will see in um, in modeling, and that is called an ingon. What is an ingon? Well, an ingon is any face that has more than four sides, so more, si more sides than a quad, more than four sides. Um, you won't see it in this model because back when I did this model, Blender didn't support ingons. Blender actually supports ingons now. And, actually, and in fact, I can create one, so I will, I'll uh, go ahead and create one here, just so you can see what the example looks like. If you create a cylinder, so here's my cylinder over here. Okay, so if we look at this cylinder, if we go into edit mode, you will see that it has, I think, probably 32 sides here. And um, these are quads, these are fine, these are four sides. But look at the top of the cylinder, this face here. This is all kind of like one face. In fact, it is one face. But if we go into edge mode, we can see that it is composed of all these edges, all these sides. So it actually has 32 sides. That's an ingon. Now, why it, ingons are actually frowned upon as well. Why are they frowned upon? Well, pretty much the same reason as, as, the, um, as the tries are. I mean, you can't really... It, it messes up the flow of your model. Um, you can't really subdivide them correctly. It can, it can lead to other problems. On the other hand, they're kind of nice because they solve some issues with um, as you're modeling. Now, there's a lot of discussion back and forth in the modeling world, you know, whether tries are really that bad or whether ingons are really that bad and should you really use quads. Um, and you can, you know, research that and, and look at all the discussions back and forth forever and you know it's really depends on what you're doing and what works for you but for the purposes of this video anyway I'm going to tell you that you know you prefer to have quads you can have tries to some extent but you don't want to go too far and you can use ingons later on when you're comfortable with them and you know what they mean and all that good stuff so that's basically it I just wanted to kind of go through some of the uh, basic geometry here because it's really important. I mean, everybody skips this part because it's so, it's kind of a subject where does that really need to be talked about? I mean, it's so easy, duh, whatever. But really, if you're starting out, it's nice to know, I think. So anyway, that concludes this video on basic 3D geometry. Please subscribe. Let me know any comments. I know there's people out there that, you know, they have their own thoughts on what is important in modeling and why you should use quads over tries or tries in certain instances and ingons and all that good stuff. So feel free to comment, subscribe, and talk to you soon. Thanks.